Hey guys, Lorena Magani here with New Filmmakers Los Angeles. Today I'm talking to director Tara Atashka and her actress Nazli K. Lu about their new film For the Birds. Let's take a look at a clip from the film. My film For the Birds, or Baroi Parandeho in Farsi, is a film about a young woman who is brought to the town square of her town in modern day Iran to be uh, hanged for adultery. And it's the story of her interaction with the townspeople who are watching this possible executions and what happens from there. Tara, how did you come up with the concept behind For the Birds? This is uh, the last scene of a feature script that I wrote when I went to school. And the last scene of the movie is exactly what happens in the short film. But the inspiration to write that feature script came from a BBC documentary that I had watched a while back that's called The Execution. It's literally called The Execution of a 16-year-old girl in Iran. And it happened in 2004. And it was a girl named Atifa Sahale who was executed for crimes against chastity. And I watched this documentary and I thought that as a film student and as a woman, as an Iranian woman, and as a girl who I later found out that is the same age as the victim, I felt like I had to at least make a film about it and do more, but the least was to make a film. And so that's where the script came from, that's where the short film came from, and hopefully someday maybe a feature film. What's the significance behind the title for the birds? So I was really trying, I couldn't find a title for it. Originally it was called Atifiz. Atifiz, right? Mm -hmm. uh, because we named it after the girl who was hanged in 2004. That was the inspiration for the, for the film to begin with. But we uh, added an S just to, because there were other juveniles who had been executed. So we thought it's not the story of just Atifiz, it's the story of Atifiz. But at the end, I thought that I can't leave that be the title of the film because what if her, her dad watches this film? Mm -hmm. it's, not literally, it's not literally her story. It's uh, the story of a young woman who is about to get executed. And I, don't, I didn't want my audience members to relate you know, this movie with her and think that this is exactly how it happened. It's, it's heart-wrenching. I don't want a, a father to be like, that's my last, you know, daughter's mm -hmm. last moments. So we were trying to find a name, and I called my friend, Mark Noda, who is a director, and he came up with the best titles for his scripts and movies at school all the time. And he said, I said, I want it to have bird, the word bird in it. And he said, okay, what about for the birds? But later, he, t he explained to me what for the birds in means in English, like the term for the birds. And I was like, oh, gosh. But it's okay. I like it. Because I, I, I'm, I guess it means that we, it's something that you don't care about. But I think maybe if you think about it, at the end, for the birds, not only means that this movie is for the birds, because the birds symbolize these juveniles who are being executed, but it only means that, I mean, it could also mean that maybe people don't care. That ultimately when, I don't want to give away the ending, but when the ending does happen, mm -hmm. and it's Am I saying too much? When the ending does happen, you, you, you could maybe make, make sense of for the birds, meaning not caring. I also think that a different perspective, um, I think I agree with what you're saying, but also I think it symbolizes kind of freedom that what happened to these people, they didn't have. And so a, a bird is free and it can fly away from wherever and you know, some of these people that we we're talking about who uh, got executed, the juveniles, they didn't have that. It's, it's, I think it's very symbolic. Yeah, I mean, you it's, see it from different, yeah. it's different interpretations. Yes, For absolutely. me, it was, I wanted to have a film named uh, Something Birds, because yeah. the birds symbolize uh, our character. Mm -hmm. How has the film been received? Uh, people have liked it, even yes. Iranians. Uh, we, we've had some audience members, not here in L.A., because this was our second screening in LA. We haven't had that many screenings for um, the, like, the public. It was more like just our, yes, our friends. And even uh, last night's screening, which was amazing, mm -hmm. it was mostly our friends and people who knew about the film. But I'm, I'm curious to 
just maybe advertise it and have it out in the movie yeah. theaters and see what uh, the public's um, reaction is to it. But so far they've liked it, the ones who came to festivals mm -hmm. uh, that we've been to in Canada and other yeah. states. There were a few Iranians who came up to us after the, like only a few of the screenings and mentioned mm -hmm. some of the, um, the facts that weren't uh, correct in our film. For example, uh, they were saying that if an execution is happening, if it's a woman, there are two men wearing black, all black, covered, faces covered. They come, there's a doctor standing, uh, and they execute her, and then the doctor comes and checks. These are all facts that, yes, I mean, it's not a documentary. We need, we just had however many we needed to on this stage. So, but in general, I, they've liked it so far. Yes.